big kill zone on your phone and money still alone and the team is forever ever strong peace What's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Kills on Jones. Big Kills on on your phone. The money still long, and it's the end of an era, folks. The Joe Button podcast is over with now. Um, I had saw shout out to Mandy B. You know, what I'm saying that um, you know, she woke up and was surprised what was going on. Um, and basically what you know what i'm saying basically people was replying to her and she said friends and business don't mix you either in the business to keep the friendship or keep the business going to lose the the business and friendship in the end um you know what i'm saying um then somebody replied joe violated um maul and roy for the entire episode parks and in you know the whole episode and then the Mixie Boys are a mis- must listen to a podcast episode. And if you ever feel, uh, if you ever been a fan, this entire episode, Joe is t- t- <laughs> um, um, Roy and Maul ending the pie. I think he wants to feel like he ended the relationship and burned the bridge down. But Rory won the ownership of the Spotify. When the Spotify deal came up, Joe said no. Rory wanted to get paid from YouTube. Joe said mm-hmm. no. Rory, uh, Rory wanted to know the deal, details of the Spotify deal. Joe said no. Joe called and t- uh, Rory and Tyron wanted to know the basis of the business. And Joe said Rory isn't allowed to question him because he has a final say in everything. Joe tried to audit the JVP and remove him from Patreon. Joe said Maul wanted an audit from the finance. Joe said no, it's dead if you got to audit a friend. Joe pretty much called o- overpaid bozos who overplayed their hands. AK said the exact same week when the drama first started. Interesting. It's crazy. It was a passionate Spotify around 20 episodes when Rory and Ma not alone. They didn't even know the details of the deal. This is crazy. I Man, it's still contract issues and don't even know their own paperwork. The, this is the wildest episode. Joe just trying to control the narrative and paying for every greedy and selfish one wanted to make sure the business was up to par, Joe. <laughs> so my whole thing um that uh my my whole thing is this when it comes to you know what i'm saying when it comes to joe i just feel like you know you cannot be a great leader um if you're selfish you know you can mix you you know, have mixed business with friendship. You just have to have an understanding with the people that you're working with. You know what I'm saying? And you and that person has to. Because I look at when when Mandy be right. Look at Mandy and her and um her and um Weezy right, and they had got into it. They were getting ready to end the pod, but you know um, but what ended up happening was. They got went to therapy. They had a therapy episode. They started really going in and started really, um, really hashing things out. And once they started hashing things out, they realized that hey, oh, we we really came up together. We really built this brand. We really quit our jobs off of this. We really, you know, uh, did what we did, and you know. We're not going to give this up just because we feel a way about something. And, 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 you know, I think they were getting into it because uh, I forget it was a whole bunch of stuff going on. I think they had an engineer that was uh, out of pocket or something or something had happened. It was a misunderstanding with that. And then they got into it over something else. I forget. But, you know, they all hashed it out. But the whole thing was they decided all collectively, them and their team, they said, you know what, we got to be, we got to, first of all, we got to make sure we straight as, as friends, you know what I'm saying? And we, and they, they were, they weren't the best of friends. Like Mandy hangs out with a whole different set of people than Wheezy does, you know what I'm saying? Now they cool and they, you know, they kick it here and there, but they not friends to where it's going to get in the way of the business, you know what I'm saying? And they put it all out on the table. They didn't hide nothing. And that's why the show was able to keep going. So, you know, um, 
Uh, and the thing is, no pun intended, like the whole, the whole, uh, the whole drama issue that I see, because you know I'm kind of uh, hold on, <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> I'm kind of perplexed of uh, what you call them. I'm kind of perplexed with the whole, um, you know, with the whole scenario is, hold on, let me, hold on, hold on, I gotta make sure I ain't, uh, hold on, uh, as you know, I'm be getting spicy over here, <laughs> let's go over here to, to Rory and then pay, I'm just perplexed about the whole, he ain't even been on Twitter, so, um, uh, you know, I'm just perplexed because it's like, yo, um, the whole thing just seems strange. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing just seems strange when you really think about it and when you really, um, when you really think about it and when you really dissect it. But at the same time, this is Joe, you know, certain people like to, um, you know, they, they like to, um, they like to control the narrative. You know what I'm saying? They, they like to control the narrative. They like to, you know, um, they, they like to control the narrative, like to control the story. I mean, they like to own the news cycle or whatever. And, you know, these things happen. So you have to realize when people end stuff or when people, um, you know, want to run stuff, it's they stuff. This is why I promote, you know, with my podcast that I have on the Beats of Bits podcast network, truth be told, was Deja's podcast. So she could do it, what she want to do with it. I'm not holding nobody on to no 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 contract or whatever. If she wants to take that show, I'm just the springboard. CMW Hey, same thing with You Ain't Lying. You know, um, same thing with You Ain't Lying. Like, that's his show. He put it on his channel. Um, me and Link with Tales of a Simp. You know, he could put that on his channel. We, we split it up or put it on his channel. Same thing, uh, I'm going to tell Sarah Zaku, too. Like, they can put the Beats and Bits on their channel. It's, you know, well, actually, with, with Beats and Bits, it's my show. So, as Tales of Sim is my show. But if they want to go on there and they want to monetize it, they can because they're part of the show. Why am I going to slow up the bag if I know they can get views on their channel and they can get, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why am I going to show, show up the bag? And then it helps the, the bag overall. Like, it, I can split it down the middle. Same thing with Breezy. I could split the bags down. Remember on my shows, which is Beats and Bits and Tales of a Simp. Or, you know what I'm saying? They can monetize and get their money on their channel. Why am I going to hold up the bag and slow up progress? You know what I'm saying? Why am I going to be selfish and be greedy and be angry and be bitter and be calling out everybody else? And I don't have my business straight. That's why I stopped doing blogs talking about what the rappers should be doing or what they shouldn't be doing because I needed to get to a point where people is talking about me too in that same light. You know what I'm saying? That's what I needed to do. Instead of sitting around all day talking about somebody else, that's what I needed to do to make sure that my business is straight. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like the pod wasn't it wasn't gonna be the same no way. Like it just wasn't going to be the same. It wasn't going to be what it was. And them ending it is the best thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Them ending it is the best thing that they could have done, period. You know what I'm saying? Period. But what y'all think, man? Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe for the one time, hit the notifications bell so you can tell them to upload and go live. And y'all just let me know how y'all feel, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know. It's your boy, Big Kill Zone, and I'm out. Peace.